Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Langrisser. This is part 8, where it's turn 8, incidentally enough, in the wood of the dead slimes, excuse me, dead souls, featuring the slimes that may or may not be dead as of yet, and trying to see where I can put our main man here, Mr. Leiden the Lord. Uh, Lord Leiden, I never get tired of that sound. You know what? She's really not putting in any work right now unfortunately so we're just gonna get her out of the way because she's sitting in that wonderful plus 20 defense bonus we're gonna give that to somebody who can actually make use of it and hitting level 5 thank you very much and we're gonna get some of Volkov's men out of the way in hopes that me and her group will continue to advance and join in on the action that is waiting for them. These guys will protect Narm. Ooh, and that's as far as his bonus goes. But that's okay. We're going to put you here. And actually, I guess I could move him altogether. I'll move him a little bit. All right, let's see how this works out. We've only got a couple of turns to go, so really no need to drag it out at this point. Ah, 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 close, guys, close. You know, I like to get as much experience as I can in this fight, but at the same time, congratulations, another level five. I don't wanna, I don't like to press because it's really tooth and nail to get any levels because they're just so hardy. I mean, for gelatinous creatures, I mean, they, <laughs> they've they got some thick skeletons. So, really, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew because that'd be kind of embarrassing to lose to blobs, I feel like. You know, they're usually the standard base, low level, entry level enemy in these type of games. I mean, I don't know what it is about role-playing games that come out of Japan, but has there ever been one that hasn't had slime as an enemy? Green slimes especially. Or maybe green is the official color of jelly or jello, and I don't, you know, maybe that's why that is. Don't know, I haven't had jello since I was, what, five or six, I don't know. <laughs> been a long time my most vivid memories of jello are the commercials more than actually eating the stuff I didn't even I never really cared for it I mean you know you, you eat it because it's there but it wasn't something I was like oh I gotta give me some jello it's just no I'm fine I'm good maybe jello was really popular in Japan maybe that's why we fight all the slimes I, don't, I really don't know not gonna think too long and hard about it though yeah we're just all kind of spread about here and it really doesn't matter because at this point they're fighting a losing battle the slimes I mean not us we're doing just fine Got one level for lead, and I think I'm gonna have to be content with that. Unless I can get him to finish off one of those ball slimes. Not likely, but again, if there's an opportunity, you already know what's gonna happen. Truth be told, I'm really analyzing my style here. I probably do tend to play too defensively, a little too cautious. I could probably take him out of the trees and he would still be pretty good, but yeah, let's keep doing what we're doing for now. Ooh, look who can potentially get some experience. Where can she move? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I don't regret this. Seeing as how we're turn nine and it would be quite pathetic if I waited until the last turn 
to do something really idiotic. Get her hurt. I'll take it. Every little nugget. <laughs> Every little morsel. Nom, 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 nom. And, nah, she's fine because we've got support. Not going to attack because, again, he's maxed out. There's really no need. We're not going to get to do anything else either, so not worried about it. And on that note, yeah, in the face. This is all for you, Mina, at this point. And I, I keep calling her Mina. Chris, Chris, Chris. It's Chris. <laughs> her name is Chris. In this version. Chris, Mina, Narm, Sabra, Leiden, Garrett, Valderov, Volkov. Thorn is always Thorn. He's he's reliable that way. Making life easy for me. And my limited mental capacities to distinguish and differentiate between two versions of the same game. <laughs> my buddy Thorn. My buddy and me. Are we done? No, we're not. Gotta let them have their last hurrah. Because technically it is still turn nine. Each turn consists of two phases. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. In a rare moment, we get to see Volkov do what he can do. Swordmaster not messing around. Not mucking about. Just tearing them up. Tearing them down. Hmm. So much ripping. So much ripping. You know, I'm kind of thinking, it'd be interesting, but I don't know how they would pull it off. Imagine playing a game like this, but with enemies attacking at the same time you're attacking. So, at the same time, sort of like an active time battle, but it's not a turn-based RPG, so I'm not sure how they would pull that off where you don't actually wait for the enemy to attack. It would be really intense, like you're moving literally at the same time that they're moving. I don't know how they would pull that off, but that would be kind of interesting to see how that would play out. It would really change your whole approach to strategy in a lot of situations because you can't set things up as well because they're moving as you're moving. They're attacking as you're attacking. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> You've really got to play it like chess then. you got to be several steps ahead of the game. And, okay, this should be the last turn. Lead in one last hurrah, if you please. Take the one you can. <laughs> yeah, we're putting out minimal effort here. Treat yourselves. And... Just to keep them protected. Oh, no. I was wondering what was going on there. I think that's good enough. In the phase. Yeah, go get him. I almost got to level six. If she had been a little bit more fourth or right, a little bit more daring, a little bit more daredevil, I think she could have gotten another level out of this. But that's okay. She saved the day still. We're appreciative. We're thankful. You know, it's nice to see somebody who goes against the norm, bucks the system, you know. Go against that whole damsel in distress thing, you know. Show that, you know, the women can fight too. Because they can. Kicking a lot of butt here. And because of that, the monsters are running away. We'll be okay, but I wonder why they appeared here. Leiden, are you sure you're okay? Any wounds you need to treat? Any scratches? Thank you. I appreciate your help. My name is Thorn, because I don't think he formally announced himself before, so I'll be under your command by the order of Duke Hawking. I welcome you. Chris, why are you here? You're not acting like a damsel. Please, let me come with you. No, I can't. It's too risky. Please, I beg you. I won't get in your way. Very well then, Chris. No, really, Leighton, it's okay. She can take care of herself, and come on, all for breaking down the norm all for disproving stereotypes. I have a cross for you from Duke Hawking. 
The power of the cross is now mine. I don't know why, but I always picture him sounding like a megalomaniac when he says that. It's just it's such an awkward statement. But it's not inaccurate. The power of the cross is indeed his, if he so chooses to use it. Spoilers, I will be using it. Yes, we actually took out more than half of them, by far. Not too bad, not too bad. Not gonna save, no need to. And we still have time, we're moving on to Scenario 5, Army of the Empire. Dun, 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 dun. Join the reinforcements from Salras. Leiden finally begins his march into Balsha. That's right, our homecoming draws near, but before that, we have to defeat the enemy's leader, which is Lance. We'll be seeing a lot of this guy, get used to it. We lose as always if Leiden dies, so we've got some soldiers, some archers, some horses. It's all pretty balanced. Well, not really, it's mostly horsemen. So we're gonna have to be careful. Thankfully, archers are very strong against them because they get to attack first, and they're very effective against mounted units as well as flying units, so. With that in mind, guess what I'm giving Leiden? Yep. Lance is very strong, so we're gonna not spare any expense there, giving him a full set. Volkov, I'm gonna give him at least six. I'm gonna try to conserve resources a little bit better moving forward. I don't think he needs eight, it would help, but let's try six. Hopefully this will work out okay. As much as I want to give her troops to help her get experience, Guardmen will go down like a sack of potatoes against anything they have here, so I'm not gonna bother. We will give her soldiers for her protection more than anything. Same for him. We will... Will we actually? We will, but we'll hold back a bit. Actually, I'm gonna hold back with her too. No, no, no. We'll, we'll give her eight. I really want to focus on getting her levels up as well as Chris and Leiden. Want to get him to his next promotion if I can, but five levels in a single battle this early is kind of a tall order, but we'll try. And we definitely want to hand out some items. Whose attack do we want to increase? Definitely. Yeah, she needs more defense, so we're going to give this to Narm. We're going to give the cross to Chris. Since she's going to be on her lonesome. Except not really, we're going to back her up. And, oh, hold on a sec, just listen to that. Oh man, I usually don't say this word, but epic is the only word for this. Grand. <sighs> Rousing, I mean. <sighs> Still gives me chills. Still gives me chills. First time I heard this, I was just, wow. This is how you know stakes are high. It's going down. This is for real. We're in a, this is, this is it. Yeah, it's time to get serious. This music. Okay, where do I want to put her? I guess we're gonna put her here. And she's gonna be backed up by him. Chris is going with her main squeeze to be, potentially. And Thorn is gonna be the man in the middle. Not sure where I'm gonna send him just yet. He's just gonna play a support role for now because he can only do so much in this situation. The enemy is approaching. All troops in position at once. That's Lance there? Yes, sir. Ha ha ha, the remaining truce of Balsha. I'll get you all. If we can get through here, the castle of Balsha should be right in front of us. I'm sure the enemy will ambush us there. We can't retreat now. Everyone stay close and try not to get hurt. Yeah, because if anyone dies, again, that's it. We don't want that. If I can help it, we're not going to have that. For now, we'll just move forward as far as we can. Uh, want to put that on manual for sure. This is definitely a fight where you don't want them moving anywhere you don't intend for them to because every troop counts in this one. This is not an easy battle. It's the toughest one we've had since the opening, actually. Lance and his crew are not to be taken lightly, and I'm not going to be. I really enjoy this battle, though. There are a lot of different ways you can approach it strategically. Again, I'm going to be doing it a little different than I tend to. A little bit. If you watch my walkthrough, which has already been posted before this, with no commentary, you can see that I made good use of the mountains here as a, the choke point to limit their ability to attack us. 
and to take control of the terrain bonuses there. But I'm not going to do that this time. Much to my partial dismay, I'm going to just forgo that option and instead be a little bit more bold. Hoping it won't backfire. So please pardon me for a moment as I get a little quieter thinking out my strategy here. I wish some archers would come this way because her troops would be very effective against them. I don't think that's going to happen. I think there's only one group of archers and they're going to be heading towards the south I'm pretty sure. Towards Leiden so it doesn't really help her out. That's too bad. But I definitely don't want to send her that way because she'd have been up against Lance and some horses and that would not have ended very well for her or her men. Volkov would have taken them out very easily, but again, he doesn't get experience, so that's why I kind of pulled back his numbers a bit, just a bit. And I want to use him again as a wall of defense more than anything. That's the goal, at least. Now, let's see. My prediction is these two groups are going to head this way, while these three groups are going to head directly for our leader. That having been said, I think our leader is going to need more support in the end. But, if I can manage to get to these mountains in time to create another wall here that they can't get past, we can hold them off long enough. It's going to take a while, but we can hold them off long enough to where our other group can come around over the bridge and meet up that way flanking the enemy so I think I'm going to attempt to do that hope I don't regret this actually nah I'm not gonna do that I mean I'm still gonna do that with Norman Volkov ideally but even if Thorn soldiers can't do much over here I would like him to get in and squeeze in and see if he can get some experience just being very mindful about who I have him attack and where I stand him you know the usual oh before I forget now you could just put it on automatic movement at this point since there's no enemies nearby but the thing is I just want to make sure that the soldiers are moving as far as they can and not moving where somebody further back can go that's my main reason for doing it myself most of the time. I don't like to take chances. I want to make as most, or I want to make the most of every turn, basically. Fitting music for the Imperial March. Has there ever been a benevolent empire in this sort of thing, in fiction in general? Film, games, anything why is the Empire always evil you know I guess rage against the machine was right but I'm just wondering why is the Empire always always evil I mean I know power corrupts but it doesn't always does it I mean it's not a given right it is possible to govern respectfully benevolently lawfully right judiciously I'm holding out hope at least these guys though are gonna cause me to move past my 20 minute goal so turn two next episode we're gonna start to engage the enemy until then this has been PDK presenting let's play land Grisser to you thanks for watching again have a wonderful day take care of yourselves and hopefully we will see you soon